Ah, a beautiful, peaceful spring day. The flowers are in full bloom, the birds have laid their eggs, and everyone left and right is sneezing because it's officially allergy season. But you don't care about that because you're finally taking the time to stop and smell the roses. I wouldn't get too carried away though. You're not the only one preoccupied by the flowers. In fact, don't look now, but there's a swarm of bees hovering above you. No, no, don't worry, Brainiacs. Your body's natural bodyguards will surely protect you from the effects of a few dozen, a uh, hundred, even a thousand of these bumblebee stinks. But before we get into the buzz of it all, don't forget to make a beeline for that notification bell so we can continue to answer all quirky inquiries bee-related or not. Now, back to business. You may be thinking that this scenario is completely unrealistic and would never happen, but you would be wrong, Brainiacs. In 2014, a Texan municipal worker got stung by 1,000 Africanized honeybees while mowing a lawn. Turns out, the man's attackers, also known as killer bees, are not as lethal as their name may suggest. What makes them more dangerous than other bee species is their desire to protect their hive at all costs. If their hive is disturbed or if they feel threatened, the bees will attack by the hundreds, and sometimes thousands, to deliver a lethal payload of venom. And if you thought you could just dive into a body of water to lose them, Africanized bees are known to not only chase their perpetrators for miles, but they will hover over water until you come out. On top of it all, researchers have discovered that bees can be trained to recognize human faces as long as they are tricked into thinking that your face is an oddly shaped flower with a nose, mouth, and ears. This gives a whole new definition to the term killer bees. Thankfully, for that man who survived the deadly attack, experts say that it would have taken several more hundred stings to have been lethal. Not to mention, the victim was not allergic, which made the ultimate difference between life or death. But although this man survived a swarm of bees, don't go thinking that these fuzzy flying creatures are harmless. An estimated 40 people in the United States die every year from stings by the Hymenotra species. This group of insects includes 150,000 species of bees, wasps, ants, and other bugs who could strike at any time. According to experts, the average person can sustain 10 bee stings per pound of body weight. In other words, 500 stings might be enough to seriously affect a child, but the thousand stings suffered by the man in Texas could not deliver a lethal dose of venom, given his body weight. Turns out, a little more love around the waist is your best defense against those killer bees. But what exactly happens to your body when you're stung by a bee? Even though bees are small, their venom can mean big trouble for the people they sting. The longer a bee's stinger stays in your skin, the more venom is released through your body. Since bee venom is water-soluble, and our bodies are made of mostly water, the venom can spread quickly throughout the human body. Since it's also cytotoxic, which means that it can destroy cells, including blood cells, our body swells up and reddens at the sight of a bee sting. The venom's histamine can also make the area swollen and tender. Whether it's one bee or a swarming cloud of them, we want you to be prepared, Brainiacs. We got you! So here's how to survive a swarm of bees. First, it's important to know what provokes bees. Loud noises, strong odors like perfumes, shiny jewelry, and even dark colored clothes. When you stumble upon a hive, do not disturb it and run away in panic. Back away quietly and calmly without making any noise. Running, screaming, or swatting at the bees only makes things worse. If you do get attacked, do your best to remain calm. Flailing and screaming will escalate the attack and can potentially lead to hundreds of stings. It's important to cover your face with a shirt or a jacket and run as far away from the area as fast as you can. While bees can chase you for a considerable distance, they will eventually give up. Whether you're getting into your car, a tent, or a house nearby, make sure all the windows and doors are closed. If any bees get in, don't kill them as their dead bodies will emit a pheromone that will attract and anger other bees. Instead, turn the lights on. This will confuse the bee and it'll scramble for the nearest window. Only when you're safe and secure, call 911. No, the cops won't arrest the black and yellow fiends, but they will get you the medical attention you need from that bee attack. If you're stung, remove the stinger immediately using a scraping motion with either your fingernail or a credit card. Whatever you do, don't pinch or squeeze it out. You don't want any more venom to get in your bloodstream. Now, all this talk about bees may have you convinced that they're tiny menaces. But fear not. While their stingers may hurt you a few times in your lifetime, bees are actually integral to our world's ecosystems. Not only do they produce beautifully sweet honey, but these busy bees help plants grow, breed, and produce food. By transferring pollen and flowering plants, they play an integral part in keeping our cycle of life turning. 
In fact, bees are so important that scientists are convinced that once these fuzzy guys are extinct, the world is surely going to end not so long after. But between climate change, escalating rates of destruction of their natural habitats, and the common use of pesticides, the population of bees are declining. If we don't do something soon, the only bees you'll be seeing are the ones on cereal boxes. But enough of this sad bus. Go out and enjoy the outdoors. And if you're scared of the effects of a bee sting, just remember, you'll most likely come out alive from the encounter. But they won't. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, Brainiacs. We're all the buzz these days.